famous glamour of betta fish to the cute but nippy pea puffers. Here are the top 21 freshwater fish that work for tiny tanks. Starting with the most famous of all, this is the betta fish. Known also as the Siamese fighting fish, bettas are one of the most exquisite looking varieties of freshwater fish in the hobby. They're very easy to care for and are a great choice if your aquarium holds 5 gallons or more. They're a perfect centerpiece fish because of how their colors burst so radiantly and their fins are a sight you cannot miss. They're also good with other tank mates if you know which ones to select and you have a big enough tank. We have a whole video on betta fish tank mates you can check out from our channel. We left a card at the top of the screen so you can visit there. Before we move on to the next fish, here's a quick rule of thumb. Only keep one male in the same tank to avoid a fight. While keeping multiple males is possible with a big enough tank, it's the subject of a future video on our channel. Attention! This is the exclamation point Rasbora. They may appear tiny and shy, but these cuties are awesome nano fish perfect for small tanks. Just be sure to accompany them with at least 10 of their own kind to form a wonderful school and keep the tank densely planted for them so they can showcase their personalities. The main feature of this fish is the orange body printed with a black exclamation symbol on each side. If you want more of an exotic color, you can check out the next fish on this list. So hot in number three is the Raspora Chili. These peaceful red fish are also known as mosquito rasporas. They have a red body color compared to the exclamation point rasporas and look impeccable inside a small tank. Yes, they can survive in a 5 gallon tank, but for a better display, get a 10 gallon tank and put a lot of live aquarium plants. They'll definitely make your home shine again. Lines like zebras? This is Danio, one of the best dither fish in the hobby. Their patterns make them look aggressive, but they're a very peaceful fish, and they're great if you're just starting out in the hobby. Danio species have a lot of beautiful breeds, including Celestial Pearl and Glow Light, but the good old zebrafish tends to be one of the cheapest and most adaptable ones. This type is also hardy and suits a community tank with a minimum size of 10 gallons. But to elevate their energy, upgrade it to 20 gallons for more space for them to socialize in. Daniels are known as ditherfish, which are great for helping shy fish become more active in the aquarium. Want to learn more about dithers? Check out the card above for a video all about them. Fifth is great for small tanks, the black neon tetra comes next. Being the underrated neon fish, black neons are actually the better choice because they're easier to take care of. A school of five or six of these amazing fish will add constant motion to the open water areas of a small tropical fish tank. They're peaceful and hardy, and they also stand as the perfect tank mates for other peaceful fish. If you're a beginner and make a few errors in fish keeping, you can worry less, as this fish is the most forgiving of the neon tetra breeds you can keep. Well, well, well. Let's give it up for the Cory Catfish, our first bottom dweller. If you're looking for a captivating bottom dweller for a small community tank, look no further, because Cory's already got it for you. These fascinating freshwater fish love to be at the bottom of the tank to look for food scraps, but every now and then they rock it up to the surface for a gulp of air. They're one of the best schooling fish you can get that prefer to swim at the bottom. Get to know this perfect fish for you, the White Cloud Mountain Minnow. Despite displaying the vibrant colors typical of tropical fish, this fish really belongs in the cold water category. They're a serene fish that can flourish in an unheated aquarium in a room temperature home environment. While they can coexist with certain tropical fish comfortably in low 70 degree water, it's essential to maintain a minimum school size of 6 so they can exhibit their social behaviors and feel most comfortable in your tank. Next, let's give some love to the Cherry Barb. A very beautiful wonder from South Asia with attractive scales and rounded fins can be a perfect occupant for your small tank. With this species, males develop a gorgeous cherry red color, while the females carry a rich amber or orange hue. So honestly, I mean, both are great options here. They are also great community fish and get along with other peaceful types, but they do best in a larger tank of 20 gallons or more if they need to share their space with other fish species. A school of six or more is recommended to see them at their best. Here is a live bearer that's great for small tanks. These are the Tiny Endler's Live Bearer. With similar traits as regular fancy guppies, this live bearer is a wonderful addition to a small tank as well. But they should not be kept along with guppies because the two will readily hybridize. Yikes! Endlers are confident, active little fish that don't demand much of your care. They do breed easily, so you can expect to see some babies if you keep males and females together. Number 10 on this list of small fish is the Honey Gorami. 
Known as small and peaceful fish species, they can be kept as a single centerpiece fish or as a pair in a small community fish tank. Males develop their brightest colors before the breeding season, but still, they can radiate a gleaming beam of color at any time of year. Ember Tetras is number 11. These little wonders sport a stunning deep orange hue and are perfect for smaller setups, starting at just three quarters of an inch. While a five gallon tank is the minimum, trust me, they'll thrive even more in a 10 gallon home, especially when you've got a school of 10 or more swimming together. More to that, you can make a small community tank, but make sure you keep them away from any large or aggressive fish. Who doesn't like fancy guppies? Another wonderful addition to this list. If we're making a list for the best fish for small tanks, fancy guppies should not be forgotten as they are excellent to keep, especially if you have naturally hard water. They are super easy to breed in an aquarium. They're great for beginners and offer plenty of variations in colors and patterns. There are also some expensive breeds, but if you're looking for an affordable one, you can still get a dashing one. Oh, just a tip, keep only males or groups with three females to one male ratio. Otherwise, the females can get overwhelmed by the pursuit of the male. Here's a superstar in the making, the Japanese rice fish. Making its way to the crowd, Madaka or Japanese rice fish are becoming increasingly popular in the aquarium trade. They're available in a variety of colors ranging from white to orange, so you got a lot of choices. This small fish is a great choice for a small tank and prefers cool water. They can keep without a heater and can be kept with other peaceful fish like white cloud minnows. Just be sure to avoid tropical species that need warm water temperature. Here's an under the radar fish. Check out the rainbow shiner. Let's all greet the rainbow shiner. Hey. A fantastic native from the US and a recent gem in the fish keeping hobby, they are stunners. With their splash of colors and active movement, they are the perfect pieces inside your tank. But females do display less color than males. They may be elusive in local stores, but online is your way. So go and snag this beauty for a cool water stream biotope display. Not sure where to buy fish online? Check out the card at the top for recommended retailers. We got you covered. Another cascade of hues, these are the spotted blue eye rainbows. Spotted blue eye rainbow fish are an interesting choice to pick for a small planted aquarium. Unlike other species, this fish stands out in both sexes because of their attractive colors. However, they can be a bit shy around other fish, so I suggest you keep them on their own. But you can also keep them with adult shrimp. Just keep in mind there's always some risk when keeping fish and inverts together. For a perfect display of behavior, keep a shoal of eight or more. Sizzling hot movement, Green Fire Tetra could offer you entertainment. I have been wanting to feature this video for a while. It's one of our featured fish in our types of Tetra videos and got a comment from our viewers asking what the name of this fish was. Lucky for you, you landed on the right video. This active little South American species will add color and movement to any nano tank. And they sometimes go with the name Rathbuns Tetra or the Red Flank Bloodfin. This fish is infamous for fin nipping, so as a safety net, keep them with fast moving fish that can escape from them and avoid species with long flowing fins. Don't make it become another tiger the barbaric. 17th on our list is the amazing clown killifish. These tiny surface dwellers are a great choice in the realm of nano tanks. Just keep it with healthy green plants that mimic their natural forest habitat so they can thrive best. While they are good with other nanofish and can foster a harmonious aquatic community, they're most comfortable if you keep a school of at least eight specimens in a species only tank. Next, we have the Scarlet Bodice. Similar to dwarf cichlids, these colorful little fish can be kept in tanks as small as five gallons. This is the perfect choice for fish keepers who have been honed with experience already, as these fish can be a little fussy around mealtimes, so you'll probably need a supply of live or frozen food to keep them well fed. I do advise avoiding housing these fish alongside larger and more assertive species. They'll flourish in a planted tank cohabitating harmoniously with smaller companions such as celestial pearl danios. 19 is the licorice gourami, another small gourami species. Ideally suited for seasoned fish enthusiasts, this standout nanofish can thrive in compact five gallon tanks. Create a comfortable environment for them by maintaining soft acidic water and employing gentle filtration to replicate their native habitat. Given their somewhat assertive demeanor, licorice gourami are commonly kept as solitary centerpiece fish. 
However, if you opt for a community setup, housing them with other small peaceful fish in a well-covered tank with live plants is a great option. Okay, we could not exclude my favorite algae eater off this list. Here we have the Otocinclus catfish. This is my favorite because they're a great cleanup crew species in the hobby. However, these little sucker fish have some special requirements and they rarely survive in a new tank without a steady supply of algae. Although they're small in size, these algae eaters thrive best in well-established tanks of 20 gallons or larger, ensuring an ample supply of natural food to support a school of six or more individuals. Also, Odos exhibit a peaceful nature, making them compatible with dwarf shrimp and fish fry, as they're one of the few fish that will generally not eat either. Just make sure you keep them well fed. They're known for eating their natural algae supply and then starving to death. Supplemental feedings are a must. Lastly, despite their aggressive nature, pea puffers will surely enchant you with their charm. This charming little nano fish with a feisty side is a real deal when we talk about the perfect fish in a small tank. Although suitable for five gallon tanks, opting for 15 gallons or more ensures better long-term care for these freshwater inhabitants. Not really for novice aquarists, these pea puffers thrive in heavily planted environments demanding specialized diets. To maintain their dental health, a regular intake of live snails is essential, though they do relish frozen bloodworms as an occasional indulgence. So that takes care of fish, but what about inverts? Check out these three options you can keep. Our first one is the dwarf shrimp. Keeping them is such a fascinating alternative to small fish species as they're peaceful, full of personality, and colorful. Though caution is needed when adding them to existing aquariums, as many popular fish might prey on them. Exceptions like Otocinclus catfish do exist, however. Regardless of the shrimp species, a controlled temperature, filtration, high-quality shrimp food, and routine maintenance are vital for their well-being. And then there's snails. Despite their somewhat tarnished reputation in the aquarium hobby as pests, snails can serve as excellent cleanup crew, and certain species boast striking aesthetics. If you're wary of rapid reproduction, varieties like ram's horns and pond snails should be avoided. Opting for nerite snails and mystery snails is a wise choice, since they don't breed prolifically and contribute as captivating display animals. And lastly, we got small hardy plants. Deciding on hardy plants in your aquarium opens up vast options, with many species thriving in minimal care. For beginners, opting for low-tech varieties is key. Excellent choices include epiphytes like java ferns and anubias, which you can conveniently grow without the need for high-intensity lighting or CO2. Alternatively, a more effective method is to attach these resilient plants to rocks or driftwood using super glue or thread. Now, let's talk about what is actually considered a small aquarium. Aquariums with a range of 5 to 20 gallons are generally classified as small tanks. These tanks are ideal for bedrooms, offices, and busy fish hallways. Striking a balance between space efficiency and aquatic vibrancy, you'll also see tanks as small as one gallon. But avoid these if you're planning on keeping fish, please. Anything smaller than about five gallons can be very difficult to maintain and are not recommended for fish. Stocking is also important when it comes to any aquarium, especially with smaller tanks. Test your water to match fish preferences, considering hardiness and acidity. Two species compatible in personality to maintain a peaceful community and resist overcrowding for easier maintenance and better water quality. For essential equipment, a heater selected based on your tank size, a suitable filter for small aquariums, and a natural day-night cycle lighting with six to eight hours turned on. Don't forget a water test kit, gravel, a vacuum, a thermometer, and a quality food for a well-rounded setup. If you have the budget for it, you can always opt for the all-in-one aquarium that includes a built-in filter. The Fluva line sells great all-in-one aquariums suited for community tank setups. Their Flex line happens to go all the way up to 32 gallons. And that wraps up our exploration of these captivating nanofish species. Whether you're diving into the vibrant world of bettas or considering pea puffers, remember to tailor your tank to meet their unique needs. If you enjoyed today's aquatic adventure, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more fascinating insights into the world of fish keeping. Feel free to drop your thoughts or questions in the comments below. 
And if you want to continue watching more cool fish videos from our cool channel, check out the next video on the right. Until next time, happy fish keeping.